Well, I just had a hobby day. Uh, basically, uh, assembled the crap out of stuff. So you've got six more Shermans, so I have nine Shermans. And then up here I've got six more Crusaders, and so I have nine Crusaders. And uh, over here, um, got the 17s all assembled at least. Um, all this stuff is spackled, all the rest of the infantry. So with this infantry I'll be able to have three units of six for the rifle companies. Um, there's the eight, uh, the eight uh, 25s, uh, the guns aren't on them. Um, I do have a couple infantry stands left. I was debating whether to go with. There's a small assault pioneer unit that you can make, and then uh, but then there's royal engineers too. So I might as well just I don't know. I might make a bunch of those guys just to sit back and hold an objective with the pioneer trucks. So they can dig in because uh, that worked well. Brett used that against me, so that was pretty good. But at least with this stuff, I'll be able to make uh, the light armored Africa list. I can have nine of these and six of these uh, in fifteen hundred points. So I should be. Uh, Lots of tanks for people to deal with. At least I'll have, uh, I'll do what Moser had, and I had a basically a list of lists on a D6. Um, you roll up, and then that's the army I take out. So I'm gonna spray prime this stuff today, and then uh, be able to work on this stuff at work on my hour lunch at work. So there you go. My, my dad's also actually in town from British Columbia. Oh, that, yeah, I understand. <laughs> so it's okay. Everyone's so my dad. Yeah, hi dad. <laughs> so Friday night fights. Um, it's late. I just showed up from my work. Usually I get Fridays off, but I didn't this time. So Chris and Drew are going to play. What You guys are playing Caldron too, right? No, we're playing Breakout. Oh, Breakout. All right. And Drew's just taking pictures, so. 1,500 points. I'm setting up another awesome table. We're at Chris's this time. Um, it looks the same, not only because it's the same tables, but actually uh, Chris and Tristan, like, you know, this actually... Chris and Tristan live across the street from one another, and they're in, I think it's a mirror image of the same townhouse. That's... That's, that's, that's what that's why it looks like Tristan's, but it isn't. Yeah, because there's no fish tank right over there, and there's no ba baby. And there's no Tristan. Yeah, Tristan's where he's in New York, well, New Jersey. Back or something. Already, but he's doing family time. So. Uh, okay, so we're doing Caldron here, uh, playing against Dwayne. Dwayne's figuring out whether or not it's a good idea to have artillery within four inches of a forest. We don't think so. Cauldron, I'm deploying my 825 pounders in here just because it's, I don't know, it's historically accurate. I think the Cauldron um, was Gazala and there's a unit, uh, I can't remember the regiment, but there was a regiment of 25 pounders. They all died to a man uh, defending and blowing up many, many tanks. So I figured, what the fuck, I'll deploy him here. I've got the mighty four man motor platoon Africa. We're over here covering in case there's a first turn assault. My Shermans are back here. In immediate ambush are my uh, six pounders, um, and this is keep in mind this is an infantry list. So the Africa Motor Infantry List has one unit of infantry of four dudes. The other mandatory is three re recce, and the other mandatory is uh, HMG. So really, really cheap. Uh, these guys can be in an ambush, and so for an infantry list, I get uh, three crusaders, and I get three shirts. So, kind of so what's the rule there, Dwayne? Pretty interesting. It can't be within four inches of forest. Yes. And then the height of the building. Yeah. Well. So oh, so it's so if it's three inches, it's three inches. If it's yeah. ten inches, it's ten. That's a little tricky, but it's good to know. How about this, Dwayne? Since I already deployed, you already deployed. Do you want to just never mind that rule just for this game because it's late and I don't really want to redeploy because I'm a bitch. As Dwayne will vouch. Those walls. Dwayne's got his mighty stoves. No, these aren't stoves. Tracks look yeah, like right? These are Panzer threes. Yeah. No airplanes. Panzer three cool. Js. Three Js. Yeah. And then I have. Well, I'm gonna wait till you do, like. I'm gonna wait till after the first turn, okay. then because more stuff will be on the table. So all I'm oh, and one thing I did want to film. Chris, do you love your oh the battle chickens? Okay, so Chris is doing some terrain. So first of all, there's these. These are plastic tigers. Plastic, five bucks. So he went to some store that sells, or sorry, ordered online. They sell museum stuff. So look at these wagons with hay bales. There's, what the fuck are these? These are rams, or sheep. There's irrigation ditches. He's gone ahead and based cows on the small bases, so I dubbed them the battle, battle cows. Yeah, here's some mountain goats. But the best, battle bovines, yeah, yeah. No, where the hell are they? Oh yeah, here we go. This is the ultimate. 15 millimeter geese and chickens. That's gonna be wicked. So, that's gonna be cool when it's done. Uh, yeah, that's my wet pilot. So, we're gonna catch at the beginning of turn one. Uh, he's, we're just deploying, here we go. So my turn one, uh, these plans are his turn one. So my turn one, um, I am, 
deployed. This gun here is actually in the building. So my six pounders uh, destroyed. Oh yeah, twelve shots, hitting fives to hit. I only hit once. Standard procedure for my six pounders. However, it did kill this tank. My Shermans um, bailed another. Uh, he made his armor saves on that one. And my Artie. Uh, my Artie came in and. Did, yeah, he made all his armor saves, his top armor saves. And so now I've got Stukas. So the tides have turned down. I don't have my Hurricanes to shoot his dumb things down. And he took priority, so he's got seven dice. Uh, his reserves didn't come in, so now he's just uh, maneuvering around. So we'll see uh, what can happen here. Well, yeah, anyway, I was talking earlier. These, these are actually uh, Chris's buildings. So he's painting his own set of Russian ones. And here's uh, a painted example of the... Uh, Hay wagon, so it looks pretty cool. It will look better over on here, but whatever. That's what it is. Anyways, so that's that. So, so stupid Stukas so took out a gun, and one of my command teams, his I, I, tanks, bailed and destroyed. That's lame. That's the one thing I hate about Germans. You can't ever keep them down. If you don't destroy them, they get back in because of. What's that rule? Protected, sure. Protected ammo, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, we'll see what I can do on my turn two, which starts now. My, I only get reserves turn three, right? You get the reserves turn three. Sorry, yeah, turn three. Okay. Okay, my turn two. The uh, six pounders came into their own. They popped another tank. Uh, no, they popped and they bailed one with the uh, the six pounders. So they actually did well. The Shermans with indirect fire. Is that forced a destroy and a bail on this tank, he made both his armor saves, but so bailed the command trigger, tank. My artillery... No, you, failed, you failed your firepower. Yeah, yeah, sorry, failed my firepower test, yeah, right. And over here, all seven remaining guns go right on here. I rolled a one for my range in. Reroll, because it's a murder. One. Second attempt, one. Third attempt, two. So, I think that's going to cost me, but here you go, it's your turn two, go ahead. Okay, so my turn three, um... I moved the guns to get shots into here, rolled quadruple ones, and Dwayne thinks my dice are loaded. I think they're loaded too, but it's the other way. Um, my Artie did range in here to get a double wide. I was just outside of range of the staff team, but I was able to clip uh, this gun here. Uh, I couldn't make my firepower tests, because it turns out 25 pounders, their firepower test is 5 plus, they're not howitzers, it's like these things. These things are 3 plus, mine are 5 plus, so. Yeah, I don't know, we'll see. So uh, it's gonna be his turn four. Dwayne's turn. He uh, got reserves in. He got that unit of Panzer, which are threes. Here we go. Moved these guys up. Shot. I made all my armor saves. So that's good. I when I'm oh sorry, I did lose a gun, but I'm still above half because of the command section. So there we go. So it's my turn five. So I get two dice. See, uh, see if I get any reserves. Oh look, I get two of them. I believe I'll be assaulting these things from my board edge. That'd be sweet. Yeah, Alright, so my turn was at five. I got both uh, my reserves in. Uh, I took the Crusaders up here. Killed the general with side armor. Uh, these are Crusader threes. The command one went over here. So the Crusader threes. Yeah, so it was front armor, but still the strength ten, so it was good. Popped him. Uh, the Reckies shot and pinned the guns. I did want to do one kill, and then he fired by a test of six to destroy, and he pulled the one that was right there, because otherwise I'd just run roughshod through that. Uh, I did kill one stand with the um, command unit. Uh, I guess technically this is a unit, so these have to do this as well, right? Yeah, I suppose. And then when I do my consolidate, I can do this so I don't get rear armored. Not that it matters. No, I think I have to go towards this, which sucks. Anyways, whatever. That's right. how that works, and my artillery was able so to actually pop a tank. Uh, so there we go. So your turn five. Yep. So you get your planes and three dice for your reserves for your battle trucks. So Dwayne's turn was pretty eventful. Um, he moved his panzers up, assaulted my mortar platoons, killed two. Uh, actually counter assaulted back, didn't blow myself up with sticky bombs, but he was able to make his armor save. Blue arms. And then he passed his test and not run away, because that would have been sweet, just to force him back. So he moved back and then stormtroopered uh, away from the direct fire of my guns. Uh, oh, his Stukas came in and killed another two, so now I'm down to only five. Five guns, so now if I do that, I, I wouldn't get all the rerolls and special rules, because I'm below six guns. 
So let's see if my last unit comes in. This is a unit of machine gun, so it's pointless. But it comes in, so there we go. And yeah, I'll do my turn six. Uh, the game can potentially be won now. Alright, so the game is over. On my turn, I opted to direct fire since it's strength 9 firepower test, firepower 3, instead of strength 4 top armor, but it's firepower 5. So, oh, you know what? Maybe not, because they were pinned. Fuck. Yeah, okay, they were, they were fine. Okay, I didn't screw you there, at least. Um, my Crusader 3 drove up, bailed this out. The Crusader 2 CS. If you ever played World of Tanks and you get the ping. I think we, we did nothing. Three That's three exactly what happened here, because it's strength 7 for number 6, so nothing. Um, the HMGs came in, destroyed that. The Recce came in, killed one stand. Uh, they're pinned. Now, it's because the initial Crusaders had popped the General, then unfortunately Dwayne loses now, because over here I was able to bail one, destroy one, and he rolled this for his uh, motivation test to stay. And once that's dead... Uh, these guys stayed though, right? Yeah. yeah, so the the, the mighty 10.5 stayed, um, but because he was down two platoons, uh, only had one left on the table, and it's because the the, ba the AA trucks didn't come in, so they don't count as frozen. Otherwise, he could have gone another turn. I mean, don't know really what you could have done. I mean, other than assault and hopefully grind away at all of them, which is what I would do. But, I, mean, I don't know, man. So, like we were discussing, he was saying that because his artillery was right on the board edge, that cost him. But really, I don't know, Dwayne. Well, if you could have done anything more, because you, like, it was random which table quarter they were in. No, right? I could have picked uh, both tank division platoons to come in. But then your, but then your AA could have been, even if it did come in on turn one, then it drives up and does nothing. You can't fire. They know to have both tank platoons here instead of well. I could be wrong. No, you're right. I mean, it's hindsight now, but... Yeah. It basically just ended up being the worst quarter possible for them. So yeah, that yeah, was, yeah. So that was kind of buzz game. Because we were, we were saying over here would, would have been great. Because you'd be right up behind here, pop your observers up on top of the hill, and they pretty much have free range into the middle. Because my thought was, you're going to be totally packed in like sardines. I should be hammering you. Yeah. Which... And your Stukas did a great job, but I mean, I unpinned every single time yeah. that they hit. I mean, they did take out three of my eight guns, and they, well, they crucially they brought them down to below six, which means I didn't get all of my special rules. And how much? How much was the? One seventy-five. Oh, for what they? They're so much better than my hurricanes. Really, even if I took them as full, they're they are better. Yeah. They're a lot better. They're they're basically. Are they canvas flying tanks or no? No. No, just Stromovix and the uh, hand shell laser. Yeah. They're basically. I picked them because if you have a Russian conscript horde that's dug in on a yeah on a objective, which people like to do around here, <laughs> yeah, then that's the Russian golden plans, yeah. for uh, yeah. And these things, I mean, you would have deployed these if I had my hurricanes, but I, you know, I, I switched up my list just. Well, I played with them uh, some at the total war. No, uh, in the first game, I used uh, motorcycle recon guys. Oh yeah, instead of the trucks. Yeah. The AA so guns? I mean, the, so the, those were 100, 150. Mm -hmm. The trucks are 120, so they're basically the same wash. I'm not really sure which one is better. Well, I play test. I mean, you have both now, so you can do it. Only three motorcycles are pretty vulnerable. Those are reasonably vulnerable, but they have a lot of firepower. So. Yeah. You pay a lot for recon. Yeah, yeah, but you know what? In some missions, like. You know, let, 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 you know, depending on the like, same board, but let's say it was a different mission. You know, and let's say there's an objective over here. Like if it's the one where I have to pull back and I don't have my forces, you could force the issue by just driving just the three motorbikes up behind here, and I have to, you know, it's a threat. Because I've done that on some missions with my rec, with my uh, carriers. It's like, yeah, they're made out of cardboard, but if they're rushing an objective, you need to deal with them. Oh, it, it won me the first game. It played because we were there. So long enough that I was able to yeah. destroy there. Uh, I wish I'd been here for the, to, to 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 get more of it. So you won that game then, eh? Uh, similar idea. You, you bottled it. You bottled it, yeah. So the Crusaders, and actually the six pounders live, and they took out a couple of tanks. Well, they bailed a tank, and they took out. No, they bailed two, took out one. So that's the best they've ever done, literally, ever. What's that? Because you never use them. Yeah, it's because I never use them. I don't know, maybe I'll stick with the Africa list. It's got a little bit of everything, which I like. 
The thing is, the tanks are so easy to hit though, because you hit them on a four plus. Because in Africa, the tank crews were trained, but the uh, infantry are all veterans. So. so in assaults, that it does hamper them compared to the Germans. But yeah, the the standoff range, the I mean, the standoff abilities of the Shermans just with indirect fire is really good. Don't get that in Italy. What's that? They lose the Shermans in Italy, or yeah, they have yeah. No, they become veterans in Italy, but they go up in price too. Okay, so it's the same guys. Same okay. Yeah. okay. You know what I do lose? I lose all the British tanks. So Valentines, Matildas, and Crusaders, they're all... Uh, Montgomery said, you know what? Fuck that. Let, he literally left them all behind. So that's what happened there. Yeah. So anyway, so we'll sign off. And thanks for the game. And like, and like I mentioned, if people go back, well, I doubt anybody will except for me. But this is only my second victory with my British ever. I've been playing this since... November -ish now. So this is only my second you British victory. And out of spiteful so revenge, it's spiteful probably your revenge. second beating of me. So I'd say two on your no, I didn't win that first game against you. Remember, you sniped my. Uh, remember, I, 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 I think it was no, against no, no, my like, Crusaders. Uh, so we have a good rivalry going. Oh and yeah. I say good because it's my. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, my first time into the hobby was with this guy playing fantasy. That was how many years ago was that? Is whenever Goldeneye came out. Remember, because we were at G Man's. Ninety six ish. Wow, it's like 15 years. It's because of school. <laughs> yeah, because of university. Yeah. So anyways, that's that for us. Uh, thanks for Game Dwayne. And uh, we should pack up so that... Uh, I, gotta, I gotta drive home. What's that? So people can go to sleep. So people can go to sleep, yeah.